let me show you those blanket orders. So here I have a blanket purchase order. I can create a new blanket purchase order here. System's gonna assign it, 1001, puts a document date in, and I can go ahead and define who my vendor is, who I'm purchasing from. So let's say I'm purchasing this from Wide World Importers. I can choose an item, put an item in here. Let's say I wanna do my turmeric, and I want to send this to my East Warehouse, and I want to buy 100 ounces of turmeric. I want to bring your attention right here to the quantity to receive and quantity received, and then the quantity invoiced. This is important when knowing exactly what you need to do from a blanket PO. My original quantity was 100. If I say quantity to receive is going to be 55, I can come here and make the order. So what will happen is when I click on make order, it's going to create a purchase order for my blanket order. And now it's telling me created purchase order 106007. I'm going to abandon this. And I'm going to go to 106007. So first I'll go to my purchase orders. 106007. And notice it created a purchase order for 55 units to that vendor. If I was to come in here and post this, indicating that I've received it, you'll see here quantity received is now 55. When I go back to my blanket purchase order, you'll see that my original quantity was 100. The quantity already received, that 55 that I just did, and I have 45 remaining. 